CPAP therapy can make you feel great. Unfortunately for many of you, when you first wake up in the morning, you look like death warmed up. You're so ugly you can be a modern art masterpiece. Along with all those red mask lines all over your face, one of the many beauty challenges CPAP users face when they first wake up is periorbital edema, otherwise known as puffy eye bags. Now it's a common misconception that mask leaks are the cause of this unfortunate side effect. However, the root cause is insufficient venous and lymphatic drainage caused by the mask pressure on the face from tightening those mask straps. Let's take a closer look. If you're a fan of the Duffer Brothers hit TV show, Stranger Things Like I Am, then you'll certainly be familiar with this lovely looking beast right here, old mate Vecna. Now I chose Vecna because he's an excellent visual representation of how you all look first thing in the morning. The lymphatic system drains fluid called lymph that has leaked from the blood vessels into the surrounding tissues. Um, and it empties this back into the venous system via the lymph nodes. And if you look up here at old mate Vetna, you can see that two of the biggest facial lymph nodes are right here, just below the cheekbone. And what puts pressure on this part of the face when using CPAP? Full face mask, doesn't it? It sits right here. So if you're putting pressure on this part right here on the lymph nodes, then it's gonna compress those nodes and it's gonna reduce the node's ability to drain the lymph. And where does that lymph empty? Into the veins. And you can see up here now when we overlay the main facial veins onto old mate Vecna, that the main veins and the main facial arteries run right up the side of the nose, right here. Okay, so the veins run right here, right alongside those lymph nodes, so the lymph nodes can empty that lymph into the veins and drain out that excess fluid. All right, so that's what's going on, guys. That's why you get those puffy eyes, okay? The, the, the nodes can't empty the fluid. Prevention is always better than treatment. And to prevent puffy eye bags, you've got two options. The first is to change your mask style to avoid the problem areas. And those areas are right here right down along your nose and just under your cheekbones. So you want to avoid a mask that's putting pressure on those points. So here's a, here's a typical full face mask cushion. And look right there. All right, it hits the trouble zone spot on. But if you change to a hybrid full face mask, look now, it sits much lower. Okay, and you can see here, it's avoiding the trouble areas. It's not coming right up here along the veins and the arteries and it's not hitting those lymph nodes right under here in the cheekbone, all right? Hybrid full face mask. If you're someone who's using a standard nasal mask, just one that goes around your nose like this, you're also hitting those trouble areas. You might like to switch to something like a little nasal pillow, sits right under the trouble spot or One of these, let me just take this off. Or a nasal cradle like this. Once again, it's nice and low, right under the nose. It's not coming up here, hitting all those lymph nodes. Now, if you don't want to change your mask style and you want to persist with your standard full face mask, like so, then you might need to loosen up those mask straps to release the pressure off your face. Now I know what you're thinking, Nick, but that's gonna cause a lot of mask leaks, potentially. And that's why you also need to optimize your CPAP therapy pressure levels. And if you wanna check out a video I've done on that, click the link above. Now, if prevention hasn't worked, you might wanna try some treatment options. And there's many available, but here's a few of my favorites. Starting with cold spoons. <laughs> Put a couple of spoons in the fridge. Some people say to put them in the freezer. I find it's too cold in the freezer. Just put them in the fridge for a bit so they're nice and cool. And then what you wanna do is just gently close your eyes and just work the spoon, rest it. You don't have to push hard, feel that coolness and just gently rotate it downwards. While we're rotating downwards is the lymph drains down. It drains down towards your heart. So we wanna be sort of helping that, sort of massaging, if you like, the fluid out. And the coolness just helps to reduce the swelling also. 
All right, so just do that. We've also got in uh, Nick's beauty salon. <laughs> yeah, just some sliced cucumber. It's nice and cool. Let's put it on your eyes like so. You would have seen this before. Nice and cool. Nick's day spa, very relaxing here today, guys. Very relaxing. Um, now, if you type into YouTube, lymphatic facial drainage massage or something along the lines of that, facial massage, what people are doing with these facial massages, uh, they are basically working your lymph nodes and your veins, just working the fluid out and helping release that, that lymph and work the lymph down into the veins. So basically what you're doing is you don't need to push hard, but where those lymphs run, just under your cheekbones, you're just gonna be massaging down along there, okay? And you can come right down. You can go hard if you like. It will start to get painful, okay? But you can, fit, oh, you can feel it, man, you can feel it. Just the, oh, there's one. Oh, there's one right here. Oh, yeah. You just keep doing that, massage it down. And then with your, um, with your orbits here, you just wanna, just with your other fingers, press and just pull down, just pulling down, okay? Not hard, but just pull it down and just working out the fluid like so. Right around the outside, down, like so. Down and just pull, pull down. I should start a beauty channel. With a face like this. <laughs> the next mysterious CPAP side effect is ear pain caused by pressure buildup inside the middle ear. Now the eustachian tube connects the middle ear to the back of your sinus. And when you swallow during CPAP, it opens up a little valve and the pressure increase inside the middle ear is directly proportional to that delivered via the CPAP. Hence, ear pain is more common in patients that have high therapy levels. So what's the solution? Well, if the ear pain is caused by high therapy levels, what do we need to do? We need to drop those therapy, ah, therapy fucking levels, come on, dickhead, via CPAP. Hence, ear pain is more common in patients that have high pressure levels. So what's the solution? Well, if the pain is caused by high pressure levels, there's only one step left to overcome in your quest for success. Pressure. Reduce those pressure levels to a point where it's comfortable and the pain subsides. And then gradually over time, as the body acclimatizes to its new environment, we can gradually increase those pressure levels to get more apnea control. That's a really important point right there, guys. Most of these CPAP side effects will resolve themselves naturally over time. The body has an incredible way of just acclimatizing to any environment or any stress that it's put under, all right? It will adapt, that's what, that's what we do, we adapt. If you're lucky enough to still have a few Tic Tacs kicking about in your pie hole, then don't hold your breath. Excuse the pun, this last mysterious CPAP side effect is tooth decay caused by CPAP dry mouth. Yes, when your mouth is dry, bacteria and acids stay on your teeth for longer. They're not flushed away by the saliva and this can lead to tooth decay and enamel erosion. It can also lead to really, really stinky CPAP breath. If the acid and plaque levels in your mouth remain high for long periods of time, your teeth can also become stained and discolored. Once again, CPAP hit you in the face with the ugly stick. I've done a number of videos on how to reduce dry mouth symptoms associated with CPAP therapy, so click the link above if you're interested. But here are my top tips. Number one, you need to increase your humidification and heated tube level. Make that air nice and warm and nice and moist. And number two, you need to practice breathing through the old snores, which is the body's natural humidifier. As the air comes in through the nose, it's gently warmed, moisture's added, added on its way down into your lungs. Whereas if you're breathing through your mouth, you don't get any of that nice humidification that we get through our nose. Now, if you're struggling to breathe through your nose because you've been told you're a mouth breather and you've got into those bad habits of breathing through your mouth, well, there are a few products you can try that just add a little bit of support. Uh, number one is mouth tape. There's a bunch of different mouth tapes available check the links in the description below of some of my favorites. And number two also, chin straps. Go underneath the chin 
and help support the jaw. And there's also a bunch of chin straps available too. Some people even wear soft cervical collars to help keep their jaw from falling open. But if you do breathe through your mouth of a night, all that air rushing out through your mouth will dry you out like that. And then that's gonna to lead to tooth decay. And it's also unpleasant waking up with a really dry mouth. Prior to sleep, you should also watch what you eat and drink. Try to avoid things like dairy and foods and drinks that are high in sugar. Next time you have a Coke or a can of soft drink or a glass of milk, just be mindful of how it affects your sinus. Just pay close attention to your breathing shortly after you have a can of Coke and you'll notice that you get congested, that it just becomes harder to breathe through your nose. You'll start to clear your throat a bit more it's because that high sugar content uh, inflames the sinuses. So just be mindful of what you're eating and drinking prior to bed. Thanks for taking time out of your day to watch my video. Until next time, sleep well, look after your mates, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Should I say she wants at me? She showed me her room. Isn't it good, Norwegian wood? She asked me to stay and she told me to sit anywhere. So I looked around and I noticed there wasn't a chair. I sat on her rug, biding my time, drinking her wine. We talked until two, and then she said, it's time for bed. to laugh I told her I didn't and crawled off to sleep in the bath and when I woke I was alone this bird had flown so I lit a fire isn't it good no we